Hi friends, it's our last holiday side recipe and we're gonna finish off with a really delicious salad. I love this salad any time of the year, but especially in fall when we think about sweet potatoes and grapes and warm baking spices. So first off, sweet potatoes. This is about two medium sweet potatoes, which ends up to be about six cups of chopped sweet potato. Again, 400 degree oven, popped them in the popped it in the oven on a sheet tray just getting the um sweet potatoes a little bit crusty on the outside olive oil salt pepper you'll see the uh, ingredients down in uh, the box below a couple other yummy uh, ingredients go to this salad so you want to do the sweet potatoes first oh let's make the dressing okay so I've got just a bowl right here, and I'm gonna put in a couple of easy ingredients. I've got about a quarter cup of uh, olive oil or avocado oil mayo. I've got the same amount of yogurt, non-fat Greek. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna put in some orange juice. I've got a little bit of yogurt on my hand and I won't look it off. Okay, so I'm gonna put the yogurt in. Oh, I got the yogurt, I got the uh, avocado mayo. I've got a couple tablespoons of orange juice that I was I just squoze. I've got about a teaspoon of lemon juice. So we want that rich orange flavor and the pop from the lemon juice. Got about a tablespoon of orange zest. Yes, orange zest. So I don't want to add any more um, liquid to this dressing, but I just want it to be very orangey. And then last but not least, remember I said warm baking spices? Well, that's what garam masala, the Indian spice blend, always reminds me of. So we've got about a half teaspoon of garam masala, and I'm just stirring it around in my bowl. And then I'm gonna put in just a sprinkle of salt, just a little bit, that's probably a quarter teaspoon, and a little bit of freshly ground black pepper. And I'm gonna stir this up and I'm gonna grab a spoon and taste my dressing to see if it needs any more salt or pepper. So here we go, we find a spoon there. Oh man, that is so good. It's orangey, but it's got that tartness from the lemon juice. Mmm, that is really, really good. So now I'm gonna set this aside while I put together my salad. So, in my on my salad plate here, and I've got a big plate or platter. This doesn't make a lot, super lot of salad, so it'll, it would go great as a side salad. If you're having Thanksgiving for about six, if you need to, you can double or triple this recipe. And in the uh, instructions for Make Ahead Thanksgiving that you're going to receive from Shana, you'll see when to. Look at that, yay! All that yummy sweet potato, and oh, it's so sweet and good. All right, so now I have about a half cup of dates here, and these were medjool dates. Oh, so beautiful, and they're so <laughs> sticky. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of move them around a little bit so they're not all in one big clump. So here we go. And these even had the pits in them and I took them out, I couldn't resist eating a couple. Um, but you only need about a quarter cup, quarter to a half cup, can't remember what I call for in the recipe. I guess if you like really like dates, you wanna put a half cup in. So there we go, so there's my dates. I've got some celery, chopped celery. Um, you could use chopped fennel too, it's wonderful with this. And I've got some great freshly grated carrot and I grated it myself and it's so much more moist and delicious. And last but not least, I've got some red grape halves. So all of those ingredients are gonna go into my salad and I'm gonna toss gently. And then what I'm gonna do is I am going to put on some of my yummy dressing I just made. Look how colorful and beautiful this salad is. Ooh, those dates are just really want to stick. 
Okay, so I'm gonna just put a little bit of salad dressing on here and then toss again. Remember, we want to drizzle, not drench our, dress, uh, drench our salad with our dressing. So I'm gonna start with half and then I'll add more as I need it. So I'm just trying to moisten this with a little bit of that yummy orange lemon garam masala mixture. So here we go. And that salad dressing will go great on any kind of fruit salad. I've used that same dressing on an apple and pecan salad, um, just chopped up some apple, some celery, and roasted some pecans and used that same dressing, dynamite. Okay. And that looks like, it was about half the dressing, maybe even a little bit less, but it looks like plenty of dressing for the salad. And I'm gonna scooch out the rest of this here. And I can't resist making it look pretty. So I'm gonna grab my towel again and kind of clean up the edge. There we go. So the last thing I'm gonna do is top my salad with some toasted walnuts. And that is the sweet potato grape carrot and walnut salad. And it's ready for the table. I can't wait to share it with Mike this evening. And I wish you were here to share it with me. So that's the end of our holiday sides. I hope you all have a wonderful holiday. Let us know if you make any of these recipes. We'd love to hear from you. Cheers and happy holidays.